Yo, 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 what's going on, nation? Y'all already know what it is. Y'all boy, Reek the Creator, back with another video, man. Y'all see, we getting into some canvases today. So, I ended up buying like two canvases a while ago. And I printed this probably like three, four. Nah, this has been longer than three, four months. But I printed this last year, for sure. So, this was printed in 2023. It's been held up pretty good. I just been had it ducked off in the corner. I wasn't going to sell them. I really just was trying to see could I do it a while ago. And then it worked out and it still lasted real good. So somebody came in and was like, bro, you should sell these. Why you don't sell them? And I was like, I don't know. I just was making it for myself. You know what I'm saying? So I figured why not? We're going to make some canvases. And then if y'all been watching my vlogs in one of my most recent vlogs, I told y'all I was going out there to pick up the uh, DTF transfer for the canvas that I really wanted to do. So we know we can print it in vinyl because I already got one done. I used my padded pillow and I printed it in vinyl or whatever. And it came out dope. This is dope. Like I said, I really want to do reflective. So I'm going to get some more. And then we're going to switch it up. And we're going to do some different designs. And I'm actually going to do something with some real paint too. But for starters, man, we printed this with a regular heat press. And we're going to jump into another canvas. So, yeah, that's what we're doing today. DTF print on the canvas. This is vinyl print. So, let's get it. Got my blank canvas right here. I can't remember what size these is because I bought them so long ago, but it's like the standard size. So I'll look it up. <laughs> By the time this video come out, I'll know the size. It'll be in the description. I know that it was two for $5 at Dollar Tree. That's all I do know. And yeah, that's what it is. So we got the blank canvas right here. And then I got my image right here. Let me show you. So this is the image that's going to go on the canvas. It's an image for one of my most recent designs that I just did with just some shirts. And I was like, this would be dope on the canvas. As y'all can see, it's dope. So we're going to print this DTF transfer that I got on this canvas and see how it come out and see if it, you know, come out right in it. See how long it lasts because as time go on, it will be around. And then I'm also going to sell these canvases online. So, yeah, I might give a few of them away too. But now that I know I can do this, I'm going to do some more dope graphics and then see what else I can come up with. But first thing first, let's jump into it. The heat press heating up right now. As soon as it get hot enough, we're going to press this DTF transfer that I got right here on the canvas. Let's see how it come out. So you already know we're gonna be using uh padded pillows. So I got my OG padded pillow right here and then I got an extra padded pillow. So I'm gonna stack both of these on top of each other to give it like some depth. Basically, let me show y'all hold on. So of course y'all know the canvas got like the little insert part for the back where you can hang it. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna put the padded pillows inside that insert and then Put it up on the press and see if it give us enough pressure to uh press it down and then if it do we should be good <laughs> etf transfers on campus i mean had to go ahead and give it a try and i just told myself i said bro i got to get back to making um videos on tutorials and pulling out the silhouette cameo and just getting back to the essence of my channel because i ain't really did no work showing y'all how to cook nothing up and showing y'all no new hacks and tricks and stuff that i've been doing so this is one thing I've been working on. And then if y'all have been in tune, I've been showing y'all, but just not like broke down content of straight direct to the point. Like I've been doing a lot of vlogging. So go watch some of them vlogs. There's a lot of gems and tutorials in the midst of those vlogs as well. You know what I mean? The, the language might be a little explicit, <laughs> but that's the difference in the content it is. Like this right here is directly for teaching and showing y'all the stuff that I, uh, I've learned throughout this time and, you know, trying to provide some value. So. DTF transfers on the canvas is the value I'm providing today. Yes, you can do it. I've seen it be done by the shop that I get my DTF transfer from. So that's what made me say, let me see. And then of course, like I said, I've been there in my vinyl. But yeah, as soon as it get hot enough to the temperature, <laughs> we're gonna go ahead and press it and see how it come out. And what I am gonna do is go ahead and sit it up here with the padded pillows and whatnot. Get to it, man, let's get to it. up you still cooking why you sound sad lady well i'm ready to eat uh i don't know let me see i don't even know what i want i just know i wanted some food and i thought about it. i said before it gets too late let me go on the call her These was down here. This little self just gotta get into everything. 
Like, girl, sit down. All right, bet y'all. So the heat press heated up. It's ready to go. This is how I did it the last time. Same way. I got my padded pillows up under there. What I, I really need like three. So from that, what I would I would say, if you go, well, hold on, never mind, never mind. It's actually, I can see it popping up. I was gonna say I need like three because it'll give it even more. So I would I would say get like three. Or if you got a brand new one, it'd probably be cool. But mine, I've been using them, so they kind of flat. But yeah, that's it. Never mind. It, it seems like it should be smooth. I don't know. I might just have to move it around some because the padded pillow is not the full size of this uh, canvas. But yeah, I don't know. We might actually be in, might not be as hard as I think. Okay, so look, I can already see at the top right here, I'm going to have to slide the pillows up some, the corners right here a little bit. I can kind of feel and tell. But for the most part, once we get it down, we can slide it around and just wait. Don't just peel it off the rip. So DTF transfers on the canvas. Let's go. Regular size heat press. Teflon sheet. What a Teflon sheet at. All right. So here gonna be the first press. First of all, I don't even know if my pressure right. So let me check. Okay. So I'm going to turn my pressure down just a little bit. Just a little bit. All right. There we go. There we go. Let's see what we're doing. Cool. All right, so now what I'm gonna do, as y'all can see, like I said, I know it's not pressed all the way. So we're gonna slide this over some like that. Make sure the padded pillow is on the end, close. And what I would do, look at the pillow. Let me show y'all first. The edges, this is the edge that's gonna save you right here. The edge without this on the side. So with this edge, this is where you're gonna wanna turn it to make sure it get close as possible to the end in here. So like as y'all can see, watch this. I can put it in there right near the end. And now the padded pillow is literally right on here. And I can slide this back some. So that's gonna be the only tricky part, just trying to make sure you got it up on there and everything is getting pressed evenly. But if you take your time and it ain't no rush, you know, cause it's a transfer, you should be fine. All right, cool. So all we gotta do, like I said, is just make sure everything is pressure hit with even pressure and we'll be fine. We slide the pad of pillow down. Make sure I press it on this left side. We got my hot and on cap. <laughs> all right, let's go press on the left side. All right, bet. So let's see how this gonna peel. Is it gonna act right? I just need to come up enough to where I can get it off. If I can get it off, we good. Okay, cool. So it ain't pressed enough right there. And that's why I say take your time with the peel. Then you can see where it's not pressed at. And you ain't gotta really stress it. So like right here, I need to press it some more. Matter of fact, let me try to come from this side. Okay. Okay, this side might be fine. Okay, so look, everything on that side was evenly pressed. This the only part right here that didn't get even pressure. So we're going to press it a few more times without that on there. All right, Nation, so look, this is what we're going to do, right? I got another padded pillow that's a little smaller, as y'all can see, what I can move around a little more and actually get every part. So this is what we're going to do, because I just thought about it. I'm like, the big one, it ain't really doing what I need to do as far as moving around. So we're going to take this small one, which is like probably like a 12 by, not even a 12, it's probably like a 10 by 8 or something like that. And I can get every space. Yeah, there we go. There we go. It's always a way. Yeah. That's it right there. Sit there right there on the edge like that. Boom. There we go. All right, now we talking. And if you're doing it, you'll be able to feel it. So you'll see exactly what I'm talking about. You'll be able to feel exactly what I'm talking about. Okay, yeah, see, now I can tell. See, with DTF, you can, you can feel it and tell if it's pressed or not. Because if it's not pressed fully, it'll be super smooth still. Like, 
like your hand can just slide right on it. Now, another one. Just making sure we press it all the way, y'all. That's all. Can't afford to have the canvas coming off. <laughs> See, yeah, all that need to be pressed. I'm just seeing. I'm, I'm checking the edges. I'm being extra with it. I'm checking my edges. Right here, I'm checking where it's smooth at so I can tell where it's not really pressed at. But overall, it ain't nothing you can do to really harm it long as you're using the Teflon sheet. So you just want to make sure that you get it pressed all the way. I'm just testing all methods right now, y'all. I took my little, uh, I took my lower platen pad off to see if it'll help, you know, give me a better press too. So we're gonna turn the pressure up and see. I'm just testing all methods. Testing all methods with y'all, just to make sure we get an A1. Okay, yeah, now that's pressed. That's fully pressed, I can tell. So, okay, let me see. Okay, so I can slide that over here this way. Put that about right there like that there. Put that about right there. Yeah, that's pressed. Now I can tell. What I'm gonna do, I'm gonna just spin this around. Spin this around. That way I can get it, cause that's what it is too, trying to hit it with the press like this, trying to hit it up here. It ain't gonna really get it as much because the pressure not gonna be as hard. So if you spin it around, that bottom is actually gonna give it a more of a press than, you know, the, the, the back side of the press versus the front side, if you get what I'm saying. So basically I'm just saying like, trying to press the, uh, Get this part up here to heat this is like almost insane. <laughs> you gotta spin it around and just make sure because this part is actually giving it full pressure because the uh canvas is so big. Now if you got a 16 by 20 press, then you know you might not have to go through this. But this for the 15 by 15 brothers and sisters. <laughs> yeah. See, that's what I'm talking about right there. Now it's A1. So yeah, that's what that's that's the best way to go about printing it. Flip it around, and then this part up here is gonna give it a better press and get more pressure when you press it down. So I would say spin it around and hit all four sides. So when you spin it around, you got a padded pillow, as you can see. Put this in there like that, and you can slide it around like this, basically. And then you got this one edge right here that you're gonna use to flip around to get close to the edges. So that's all you doing, boom, 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 boom. Make sure you get pressed all the way around. And then to give it even pressure, you're gonna wanna press it like that. You hit that side, hit that side, then spin it around like this. Hit that side, hit that side. And then you know, triple check it. And then if it don't feel as secure, if you got a mini press like me, you can use your mini press. Cause that's what I, that's what I would do if I didn't feel like this was secure, but I think it's down, like ain't nothing lifting up. And you know, it seemed A1, but I, I just gotta be OD. <laughs> I go overboard, overkill. So I'm gonna keep pressing it like a few more times and then I'm gonna call it a wrap. But for now, I gotta make sure my A1 because once it's sold, you know, you can't take it back. I wanna make sure that it's A1. So if somebody get it, they ain't sending it back or call it talking about my, uh, my, my picture is coming off. <laughs> You don't need that, that's the last thing you need, so, yeah. We don't need that at all. Now that was a good press, I can feel the pressure on that one. I felt that for real, that was an A1. Ooh, yeah, you can see it, you can see the canvas coming through the, coming through the picture. Yeah, that's it right there, okay. And I'm gonna do this side, and that should be it. I shouldn't have to really press it no more.
We'll see how long it lasts. But I mean, you ain't gonna really be doing nothing to try to mess up a canvas anyway. So, and then if somebody just trying to blatantly mess it up, that's crazy. But overall, it shouldn't really mess up at all. Oh yeah, that's a good press. All right, so that's the method. This is the method. I gotta see what size pad of pillow that is so I can tell y'all what size pad pillow is. But it'll definitely be in the description. Yes, sir. That's it, yeah. A1. A1, the canvas is on here. I can see the glue trail a little bit going around it, so I can tell it's down. Definitely down. It's a smooth print. It ain't like how it feel on the clothes where it switch up the texture. And yeah, this is DTF on um on a blank canvas from Dollar Tree. <laughs> Bought two of these for five dollars. So we got this. Had to grab both of them, let y'all see both of them. So this is what we're working with. We got the DTF canvas right here. A1 came out dope. Printed it at uh 315 degrees Fahrenheit. Even pressure. I use my padded pillows, two different sizes. But like I said, y'all see uh the smaller padded pillow saved my life. And then we basically just had to press it, spin it around, press it, press it, press it. Press it, press it, press it, press it. <laughs> that's what we had to do. And that's the same thing I had to do for this one too, though. It's just really about getting something that, uh, you know, you can put in, in, up under the canvas to make it give you that pressure to be able to press it. And then honestly, be, if I'm being real, the smaller the image, the better, because the closer it is to the center, like mine is kind of big, so it go all the way to the edge. So trying to get the edges is really the only hard part. But if it's not as big as this and it's more centerized or something like just a word or something that's not gonna go that far, then it'd be actually easy for you to press it. But it came out dope, man. This is very dope. Like they're gonna be listed on the site. I'm gonna give a few away. I probably go buy about 10, 15 canvases and I'm gonna give away the shirts to match these canvases. And then the same with this tee right here. And then I got a few more pieces. But all in all, man, it really came out dope. Like I need to hang this somewhere. I might give it to somebody, I don't know. I just said I'm gonna do a giveaway, but I might actually gift it to somebody that's in the family or something. Creator Angels, blank canvas turned into a printed canvas, DTF transfer. If you didn't know it was possible, you know now. I'm sure a lot of y'all probably do know, but I just had to do it for myself. And yeah, it's getting hot in here, man. I don't, I, only reason I threw this jacket on because <laughs> I had to go outside in the midst of this video. So it done got hot, bro. Gotta take this off. Let y'all know what's going on with the boy and what type of tutorials I got cooking up. So I got some more DTF transfers. Uh, that I just ordered that we're gonna do some some super dope stuff. I can't tell y'all what it is, y'all just gotta wait and see. But we're gonna do some uh, transfers, some, not really like I say, ain't really tutorials, but more so just pressing and my method. I guess it's a tutorial, but I feel like a lot of y'all watching this stuff already kinda know about it. So, you know, I could be wrong. If you don't know, then I guess it is a, a tutorial for you. But if you do know, like I know, and you've been into this pressing and these transfers and just shirts and all that, then you know we gonna go crazy. And I got a lot of dope stuff up my sleeve. So yeah, I got the uh, DTF transfers I ordered. I'm gonna pick them up tomorrow and we're gonna jump into some more stuff that I got up my sleeve. I'm gonna pull the camera back out because I done found some new tricks with that. And it's time to knock the dust off it before I, uh, I get my new one. I got a new heat press on the way. This one finally about to croak. And then I got some content I'm about to drop on the uh, mobile van for the mobile print setup. So we're gonna start printing from the van soon and recording from the van as well doing tutorials and cooking up in the van. But yeah, it's a lot going on. I just had to get back in my bag and let y'all know I'm still printing. I'm still going to do the tutorial videos and the how-tos and all of that and show y'all tips and tricks with the puff and all that good stuff that y'all be asking me. And then Master Kicks is definitely on the way too. And yeah, I think that's all I really got to say for now, man. We got the canvases done. They came out dope. Try it if you haven't yet. And I don't know, should I start selling transfers? Cause I've been thinking about that. Like a lot of people ask me, do I do transfers? And I, I just never really thought about selling them too tough like that, but I would. And then, yeah, I definitely have been doing drop shipping and stuff for my clients. So that's something new that I'm offering. If you didn't know, I do print for other brands and yeah, I've been doing drop shipping and all that lately, but I'm still sorting it all out. We're gonna get it figured out. But I appreciate everybody for watching this video. 
this was a quick video i just had to get back in my bag and let y'all know we still cooking up how to's and tutorials and i'm still printing and i'm gonna be coming back with a lot of stuff to show y'all what i've been working on and what i done learned on the hiatus of making like the videos of how to make stuff and how to print stuff so yeah that's what it is man if you haven't already subscribed to the channel about to get on up out of here jump to this podcast to the next video cool